Oh, that song just does not fade out, does it? Hey gang, how's it going? Metroid Prime. Metroid Dread got announced. Hang on, I was checking my audio. So I kind of slurred my words. Uh, Metroid Dread got announced. And I, you know, I would like to pretend that this is in honor of that, but I was kind of just going to play this anyway. So, oh well. Metroid Prime loading. Is it now? Dare you really tell me that it is loading? Okay, so last time we left off, I shook the Wii Remote wildly. No, wait, that's right now. Um, we were in this facility. And now we're gonna go deeper. And by deeper, I mean I'm gonna fall down. That's not pause. Dustin, you stupid idiot. Don't you know the change gun button when you see one? It? Okay, so I gotta go back up. It'll only take a moment. Okay, this way. No, wait, that's the save point. I was already here. Gotta go this way. Okay, I already got these guys. Yeah. And please blow up a little bit. Thank you. You too. Oh, come on, come on. Door cannot be opened with that weapon. I know. Ooh, ele Elevador. The control tower. But what's over here? Knowing my previous history, probably a whole lot of jack squat. I'm so glad that this microphone does not pick up motorcycle douchebags. <laughs> motorcycle outside. No, that's mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Hey, Langton. Oh. Nothing cool in here. Oh, spin. Spin to win. Oh, yep. Oh, no, no, you didn't see nothing. Luckily, this isn't a stealth game. Yeah, the plasma beam does a number on these guys. And frankly, I'm all for it. Stuns the ever-loving Christ out of them. Oh no, it's the wacky jet pirates. My scan. Pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. Flying pirates are extremely agile in the air, but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with, therm with thermal imaging. While their missiles are extremely potent, their jetpacks can be even more so. If a pack fails, they will make a suicide strike. Wow. Yeah, like that. Have I scanned this yet? Yeah. Oh, there's more. Ow. I'm taking some damage. Some damagey. 
Not as much as you would think, though. Especially considering I have 5 million E-tanks. Okay, you can tell they're dead now because the music stopped. Okay, what's in here? Health. Okay, so you can go up here. Now, is there anything up here? Uh, there's this. Which I can't do anything about yet. Can't... This is not a morph ball area, despite appearing to be one meter. Siri is being talked to outside my door. Okay, that does not break with gun. Okay. Okay, so is there anything cool up here, though? Not really. So, this is where I just came from. The way I want to go is this way. The Research Lab Aether. Anything cool this way? Anything cool? No. No, there's really not. There's really not. Please detonate at your earliest convenience. You know, it probably is still faster to just boost through them. Interference. You don't hear nothing. Oh, it's that thing. Who would have thought we'd see one of those? Not me. Energy-based parasitic predator. Dominant species of planet SR388. Metroids can suck the life force out of living things. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain the energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake and attach Metroid is to enter morph ball mode and lay a bomb. Oh yeah, I was able to kill it. You know, that's not like the other game. And here come the pirates. I just want to scan, you know? I just want to scan some things. Nope, no, please don't morph ball. What is a centigrade? So when in the stream are you going to gush about dread? And eh, I already did that. You know, you can't you can't gush about dread forever. But I acknowledge that it exists. And that I I wish it. I wish it to be in my hands as soon as possible. Well, no, I don't. I wish it to be in my Nintendo Switch video game console. The 
The reconstruction of Geoform 187, codenamed Ridley, codenamed Ridley, was recently completed. After his defeat on Zebus, Command ordered a number of m metagenic improvements for him. You're making these words up. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our cre creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the mainstay of our security force, a job he will certainly relish. Ah, Phazon Infusion. Internal transfer of Metroids to Talon 4 research facilities has been completed. Three were terminated in an incident at the landing site, but the others were pacified and transported safely. Initial Phazon Infusion testing is underway. We are eager to observe the effects of Phazon on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by Phazon sources. Early research suggests a considerable growth in power and size, whether the creatures stay stable thereafter remains to be seen. Oh, also, I guess this is why they set up their base in the Arctic. Because it says Metroids get, become docile under a certain temperature, which I guess makes sense, because we use the ice beam on them or some. They don't like the cold. They're not, they're not fans. The hand of fate has doomed that man. Confidence is high regarding Phazon applications. We know enough about Phazon now to begin combining it with space pirate DNA. The code name for this venture will be Project Helix. Preliminary studies indicate that Phazon infusion could produce radically, radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent mutation levels are, are high in current test subjects. Phazon madness is a concern, but refinements in the infusion process should reduce our, or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. Hi. How you doing? Have I scanned you yet? Yeah, I have. Yeah, don't don't really want to get phase on dementia if at all possible. In event of Metroid escape, use gun. If that doesn't work, use more gun. Hey guys. Hang on, let me scan this. Huntroid, Hunter Metroid DS. That, that feels like a typo. Is showing signs of increased instability and a heightened immunity to cold dampening fields. Motion near Hunter Metroid DG appears to trigger psychotic episodes. Oh yeah, I, I'm sure they're, they're notations, it's just the way they're formatted felt like a typo. I feel like if it were me, I would have made that uppercase. I'm nitpicking so hard right now.
Oh wait, hang on. Metroid Dissection continues to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripartite nucleus. But the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluids, and yet the Metroid extracts energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We will continue to research this matter, as the isolation of this life-giving essence could be key to our ascendance. Studies of Metroid biology continue, though with limited progress. It seems more likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for our means rather than trying to reproduce their powers. If they could be adequately tamed, we would have no need of a proper understanding of their metabolism. A small force of dip disciplined Metroids could wipe out entire armies, and once we find a way to shield them from cold containment weapons, they will be invincible. Furthermore, if we could harvest the energy they consumed, we, could, we would have a near-limitless source of power at our disposal. Ooh. Well, how do I get this? Oh, it's actually insanely easy to get this. I can't help but notice there's an alarm in the background. I wonder who that's for. Oh, it's the same thing. Uh, what Metroid game would you recommend starting with if you were new to the series? Uh, Zero Mission might be a good one because it's chronologically first in the series and it has a lot of the uh, improvements that came with Super Infusion. So I would say definitely Zero Mission. And then if you like that, then uh, consider playing Super or Samus Returns next. It should be noted that Prime, as much as I love it, is a very different beast from 2D Metroid. So I, I wouldn't consider it quite the same thing. It, it's still designed much like a Metroid game, but as you can see, it it's a first-person shooter, you know? Or a first-person adventure game, as they like to call it. Though, Metroid Prime 2 does have Halo-esque multiplayer. Oh, have I scanned you before? No, the, you are new. Ice Beetle. <laughs> Dead. This beetle is deceased. It is no more. Ooh. Spooky room. <laughs> oh wait, there's more lore. Oh no wait, that was a... Uh... That was a uh, activation red spot. Y'all are annoying, and I don't much care for you. 
<laughs> my first Metroid game was the end of the subspace emissary. No, nah, that's that's more uh, the Great Cave Offensive, <laughs> I would say. Have I gone this way yet? Yeah, that's where I came from. I mean, I know I need to go down there and grab the Duma Flotcher. I mean, the minute the part with the Metroid Prime music where you fight Ridley is about. Oh, yeah, that part. I thought you were talking about the other part. God, man, I, I'm i so sad that we never got anything else like subspace. I know that that's, you know, a controversial opinion. Some people are into it, some people are not. But I was into it. And I think with refinement it could have been even better. Though I also understand how much of an undertaking it was. I don't know, though. World of Light just didn't do it for me. Their priorities are on multiplayer rather than single player, I think. Yeah, and I mean... In fairness, that does make sense. But dang it, the heart wants what the heart wants. Oh, hey, ZJ, nice to see you. Why, yes, how observant of you. Yeah, so we're gonna get a new visor. What does that mean? Well, you're, you're gonna find out. I'm just, let me just make sure. There could be other scannables. Okay, let's grab that. Good thing it is exactly Samus shaped. All right, thermal visor acquired. Yeah. So you can see, you can see the hot and cold. This is the Wii version, I'm assuming, yeah. Uh, I figured I played the GameCube version. That was my first playthrough of this game. So I figured, hey, if I'm going to play it again, why not play the Wii version, you know? Just for something different. So, yeah, Thermal Visor. So, yeah, we can get we can get the hot O-Vision. The visors aren't quite as cool as the beans, but, you know, whatever. It's something. Yeah, I can do this. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, no, you are too close for comfort, my good sir. Please die at your earliest convenience. Man, this chatter in the background. Hello, Metroid. You are not exempt to my dying regulations. But man, the, the muttering in the background is so ominous, I love it. Sounds like they're saying 355 over and over. Okay, yeah, bust out. What what licensed game was it that had the no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a licensed game. I think it was The Sims. It was like The Sims busting out. What was that game? I don't know what that game is. I just know about its subtitle. Sims busting my balls. Do these Metroids have different stages of bigness, different scans? 
Um, I don't know. I would have to let one get me, though. Just uh, let it suck a little bit. Oh, uh, uh, no. Big Metroid is considered to be the same as Small Metroid. I think it was a Sim spinoff about jail. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, please die. I think it takes less hits if it's already sucked on you. Which honestly makes a lot of sense, actually. It makes a lot, it makes a lot of sense. There was something scannable, I thought. Maybe it was the, uh... Maybe it was just that, but it could be this over here. The thermal beacon. Door has no power. Oh, that's what it was. So... Okay, I think I need something else. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? There's a light. Yeah, yeah. Three, five, five. Oh no, maybe I gotta find the other ones. It might be it might have been like a multiple thing, like I have to find the other targets. Let me go back down. Now that we have dealt with the Metroid threat. Can I go through this door? Door cannot be opened with that weapon. Oh yeah, I need the white. I need the white beam. Okay, so there's something. I mean, there's these, there's these crates. I feel like I remember being stuck on this bit for a, a couple minutes at least. But they definitely, they definitely want you to use your new your new equipment because this is a metroid game i mean of course they would it's like not using the item you got in a dungeon to fight a zelda boss you ever heard of that no exactly because it didn't happen I'm looking. I'm not. I'm not seeing any other spots besides up there. I gotta remember what to do. Like this isn't. This isn't a blind playthrough, as I've said before. But I don't. I don't actually. I. I don't have that great a memory. I'll be honest. Or rather, a very select. Oh. Oh. I opened it and I just didn't notice because I'm now colorblind. Oh. Pirate. No, wait, what is that? Oh, no, wait, that's new. I'm glad I scanned it then. Sentry drone. Oh, okay, well, visor, it doesn't make a difference which visor I have on, it looks like. Oh, oh dear. Well, that's, that's intense. So now we gotta do the heat escape. You know, like in hit video game, The Sims busting out. Am I, am I part of a pirate sandwich right now? I sure am. The least delicious kind. You gonna bust out? Oh, I thought he was gonna bust out for sure. Much like The Sims, for instance. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry.
I hear dorks, but I don't see dorks. Okay, can I have a... Can I have a little bit of a pick-me-up here? Okay. The music stops, so you know we're okay. Oh, 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 oh. 69, nice. But then it wasn't. It's always the tragedy of 69. The Thermal Vision looks like an experimental indie VR game. Yeah, kinda does. Not sure, is I where am I where's my target right now? Oh, I probably wanna to go to that place right over there. You know the blue the blue place. the boxes have thermal thermalization oh oh out <laughs> oh dodge better dodge better anybody remember mad world yeah i remember mad world it was quite mad. I never actually played it though. Oh, that's my visor making that noise. Making the 355. Interesting. I need I need some more juice. What's this? Can I get on top of this? I mean, yes, but to what end? I have no idea. Oh wait, that's right. I have, a, I have super missiles at this point, don't I? I didn't, I didn't try to use them on anything, such as this right here. Did I not? Maybe it only works with your uh, default gun. Yeah. Still, that wasn't it. No, wrong, wrong, wrong face button. Alright, take me down to the Paradise City. Mm, I wouldn't say this is the Paradise City. Okay. Wait, is that bug? Is that like a little bug? No, it's a rod. Yeah, it's always a shame to hear about games selling really bad. Okay, well, does the save point still work? Yes, it does. Okay. Well, I think I will use that. I will use that to my advantage. Okay, let's let's put on the old heat goggles. Fall right on his head. Somehow it does not have concussion. I'm disappointed. What's making that sort of noise? Oh, 
I'm just now finding out it was made by Platinum Games. Yeah. Okay, it's very dark. The doors have unlocked. Well, how nice of them. Okay, so where where am I? Where am I going? Okay, so I'm going down this way, and then I go this way to the ru ruined courtyard. Okay, okay, yeah, I know where this is. I know where this is. Yeah, you gotta you gotta escape from the city. Oh no, it's a stupid gun drone. Why is this so hot? <laughs> I love it when they go flying. Me too, it's it's very satisfying. Oh, I need more missiles, dude. Okay, are we still on the right track here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, except for uh, how I have to fight this guy. Okay, something's shooting me. Probably one of the drones again. Yep, yep, it, it's right there. Oh, but since it is a machine, it produces no sick. Well, no, that's not true. I guess it's not a very energy hungry machine. I mean, my computer produces a heat signature, probably. I mean, it produces heat, so I assume that would have a signature to go with it. Oh god, it's pirate hell! God. I forgot what was in here. Was there anything interesting? It, it looks like a defunct save point. Okay, we don't need that no more. Better go this way. Save again. Now that we're out, refill some health and whatnot. What does whatnot even mean? Why does anybody say that? Why do I say that? Please, uh, I need my gun back.
Okay, that did the trick. Um, what sort of trick did it do? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Gotta get the right combination of doodads here. Uh, one meter. Oh, this this part's very neat looking. I enjoy looking at it. All right. Boss time. Boss time. I mean, maybe. There's just this unsuspicious clump of rocks in the middle of the room. Okay, that rock's very suspicious, actually, that one. Okay, never mind, they all are. Man, how you doing? Okay, scan, scan the monster. Thardis, an animated sentient creature of stone charged with phazon radiation. The phazon radiation given off by Thardis negates auto targeting systems, preventing lock on. It may be possible to acquire alternate targets with a different visor. The chaotic nature of phazon irradiation leads to instability. In its, in, in its structural integrity. Thardis can encase targets in ice, and its colossal size and strength make it a formidable opponent. This needs a switch port? Probably. Don't mean they gonna do it, though. Okay, so... Oh, I have been frozen, tap B repeatedly. doing anything Oh yeah, he took he took some damage. Thermal visor overload. Okay, whatever you say, game. Surprise Iceland is followed up by Rock Boss. But it's Icy Rock. Oh, ow, ow. No, please. Okay, gotta go back to the Visor. Rock and roll, baby! Oh, okay, oh, uh, wait, no, no. No. No Thardis, no. Uh, uh. Still, still no new scan. Okay, no new scan. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Oh, okay, Thardis, please, please explode, expose your weak point for massive damage. Use the dungeon item. All right, my bad. No, wait, I was using the dungeon item. That was the dungeon item. It was like I said before. No, Thardis, no. Bad Thardis. I'm pretty sure Thardis is what uh, Doctor Who goes around in. Ow. Ow. I mean, Tardis is already a silly name in itself. Okay, did I destroy its phase on? Oh dear. It's producing, uh, it's producing energies. Okay, everything's green now. All right, see you, Miles. Uh, fog. Kryptonite fog. It's kind of taking a hot minute, ain't it? Uh, ah! Sometimes it just decides it's gonna hit you. And when Thoradus decides it's gonna hit you, there's not much you can do about that. Missile juice. Come on, hit the hit the target. Stop strafing. You're not even strafing. I'm the one who's strafing. I'm projecting onto you. I have two missiles left, and that is not good. I free it with just the beam. I don't know, I, I think I see it flashing. I need some missiles, thank you. Some missiles right about now would be absolutely lovely. No, not, not rolling around. Rolling around is the opposite of missiles. 
mean, I got some missiles. Okay, so yeah, you can you can free it with just the beam. You don't need the missile. I'm I have never once dodged that attack. I guess I don't really need the plasma right now. Wait, I'm still I'm still on it. This is the visor. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it turns out the power beam is better at dissolving this than the plasma. Who would have thought it? Who just who just thunk? The, the kryptonite fog is a little nauseating. Kind of wish that wasn't there. I get why it is, but I kind of wish it wasn't. I have no idea if I'm hitting it. I have literally no idea. I can barely even see the health bar. That's how fogulated it is. Yes, good, good. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he's a look. Oh, the fog's gone. Thank. Christ. Hopefully I don't die. But I think I got a good shot here. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Okay, there we go. Took that, that boss took a hot minute, but okay. It's not too bad. I mean, there's probably more efficient ways to fight it than the way I did. But hey, if it works... <laughs> yes. Whatever a spider ball does. Now I can climb up the little tracks. I can climb up the little tracks now. Now which way did which way did I come from? I came from like this way. What can I do? You see, hold Z. Does not in any way resemble spider. It's metaphorical, my son. Because spiders are sticky. And I, too, am sticky.
Oh wait, you have arachnophobia mode on. I mean, even the blobs. Even the blobs. Okay, so what am I doing here? What am I doing? I guess I'm going through the purple. There's also something over here. I wonder what that is. It won't let me stand on the snow. Is there any track that leads here? Oh wait, no, no, I gotta have this. I gotta have this thing. Which I don't. Well, that's not a good that's that's not a good position. I mean, it's not as cool as just being able to go over any wall you want, but it, you know, it's something. So let me go into this one meter in diameter hole. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. Where does this go? Magmore Cavern South. Recording to logbook. But what does this lead to? Oh, it doesn't matter because I don't have the right beam. Does not matter where it leads. At least not yet. It was then that I thought about Adam. As I always do. Oh, we got we got a split path here. Uh, I think I want to go in the, the missile one over here. It's probably a save point, actually. Yeah. Just as suspected. A sabe point. But that's good, because I need to sabe. Any scannables? Nope. No? No! Get out! Be gone! Okay, so what do... What does Magmore... Magma... Mag, 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 what does that have for us? Uh, it has pirates! Again! Is, this, is that the same pirate? Yes! Please dire it. Haha, <laughs> owned. Ah, oh, right, right, of course. Of course, the the, the conduit. There's still a pirate here. There's a door up there. Can I get to it? Uh, yes, with relative ease, actually. But I, but do I want to do that? That's the big question. You know, you. There's many things you can do. But, what do you want to do? What are you gonna do with your life? Okay, the music stopped, I'm afraid. Uh, 
Ah, right, right. It cools, cools the juice. Oh, we got different music now. Oh no, it's these blasted things. How about how about now? Okay, so you gotta cool the other lava. You gotta make sure all the lava is nice and dry. Crispy. Now I gotta have a heart attack with this time challenge. Okay, speed it along. Okay. Ah, another energy tank. <laughs> okay, now the music's back, I suppose. No, no, go to hell. No, oh, bye. Okay, what's this way? What is this way? What's oh, a tunnel? Bendesium. I forget. Is that something I can actually work with? Well, we're we're about to find out. We're about to find out. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because there's an ice. You see, there's a there's an ice as I spin around ever so subtly. Oh, it's that thing. Puddle spore, sentient floating lava mollusk protected by an impenetrable shell. <laughs> I, I like that this this creature attempts to intimidate you, but it it's really not very good at it. Okay, I don't want to deal with you. You take too long to deal with. Okay, have we been here before? No, this is still this is still new. This is still new and uncarded territory. What we got in here? Oh, that thing. I still don't like that thing. To defeat the Magmore, shoot at it until it dies. Okay, that was that was enough. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be enough. I thought maybe, hey, I, I might need to hit it with a soup. But no, no, it was not the case that time. Ah, here we are. Now we're back in familiar territory. Okay, where does this elevator go? Ah, the Tal the Talon Overworld. Yes, I suppose. 
I suppose that the Talon Overworld might be due for a revisit. Oh, come on. Dude. For real. For real, man. This is why nobody invites you to these parties. Ow. Guess. This, this seems vaguely suspicious, but apparently it isn't. And that disappoints me quite immensely. Ow. Ow, stank. The stank gas. Let's just roll under here. Uh, cease. Desist. Please, I have no desire to speak to you. Just, just go right through it. Who cares? <laughs> it looks like this is a locker room from hell. A little bit. We... Oh, no. Uh, we gotta readjust the direction. Can't boost on this. So therefore it takes eight more hours than I feel like it should. But I can let gravity do the work. Anything cool? Okay, to, to Talon. Back to the grasslands, the jungle. Where you are gonna die. Not me, you specifically. Oh yes, the music! It's time for the music! this song so much. I don't think the I don't think the heat visor is particularly helping me. See, this this is very suspicious to me. You can plant a seed in there. Maybe a strawberry. Okay, so what can I do here that I could not do before? I mean, I got the thermal, the thermal visor. I have, I don't have the swing, you know, don't have that yet. But, but I do have the spider ball. Knowing me, I am going completely away from where I'm actually supposed to be. Door cannot be open with that weapon. Wasn't trying, but thanks. Chozo ruins.
I need to find somewhere where... Well, where these guys aren't! Okay, I'm, I'm losing momentum. Gotta do it at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Was it was there anything here? I feel like there was a track somewhere around here. I mean, I know there's some stuff I can do in the Chozo Ruins. I don't know if it's actually important stuff, but it is stuff. My ship's still doing okay? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, Alcove. Hmm. Yeah, what did, what did I get here? I forgot. But it is indeed an Alcove. Hey, save me up. Juice me up real good. was in here. There's a little Pasaji. Have I been here? Oh yeah, I've been here. This is the water. The little water dunk tube. Okay, so there's something in here. There's a door somewhere in here. Okay, the mushroom. This must be incredible if you play it uh, on a rainy day with the window open. Oh yeah. Ooh, I got chill bumps just thinking about that. Oh. Wait, did I really did I really just never do that? Or was I was I able to do that? Oh, it's time for this part. Weird things like that add immersion, like having a breeze come in during a sky level. You know, actually that reminds me, um, the time the time before last that I played uh, Super Mario Sunshine, like not the time I streamed it, but the time before then, uh, I actually did like play out in, well, we got kind of like a sunroom, we call it. And it's like sort of outside, but not. I played Sunshine in there, and it was warm. And I feel like that, that added that added to the immersion, the feeling. Even if it was a slightly uncomfortable, probably. But dang it, I wanted to feel like I was really there. I wanted to feel like I was at Delfino. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what you do here. It's blue. Did I not already scan that? <laughs> that description is very familiar. Okay. Small crevice. Well, thank you for telling me, because it's very not visible. Okay. Dang, these guys are not in good condition. not a very good aim.
Okay, so this is a white door. Yeah, so I don't have that yet. Yeah, so it's not whatever whatever's over here, it's not that. Okay, so there's another door way up there, but yeah, I need the I need the ice beam. Yeah, so nothing to do here yet, I don't think. I mean, that's the thing about Metroid. You gotta figure out... Like what? You want the game... You want the game to tell you where you're supposed to go? Figure it out. Idiot. Actually, this that's not a good example, because this one actually does tell you where to go. If you're too big of an idiot. Which I often am. What's going on? I, I think it's probably the Chozo ruins. That's probably where I need to check. Where where do you where do you go to get to that? Okay, so I go to the door like slightly to the left. You're like yeah, that one. That and that and. Words cannot describe how little I feel like dealing with you two. That mushroom looks a little sus. Little sus. So we gotta look for places where we can use our fancy new toys. Pardon me. Probably didn't pick up, but just in just in case. Okay, so where have we not got? There's well, there's a place here. Oh wait, you gotta go to this. Oh, I do have the purple, but I think yeah, you need the swinger. You need the swinger to go there. The swinger ringer. So, my best bet is probably this way. The Ruined Shrine. No, go away. No, go away. Yeah, right here. See, up there. See, now I can do this. There's a whole, a whole lot of missiles. Zing. Oh, that's very satisfying to do. It's very satisfying to do. Okay, I gotta go that way. <laughs> well, I'm I'm going this way. You know, this is gonna be completely random, but sometimes something I forget about it's this it's something I forget about often, and then I just suddenly remember it out of nowhere. Freaking gaming in the Clinton years. It's like the weirdest series of reviews I've ever seen in my life.
but think about how much more meaningful Samus's character would be if she had breast cancer. Man's insane. Man's actually clinically insane. Okay, well I can't do anything with this yet. The boop, boop. I've never seen those videos. Well, do yourself a favor. After this stream is done, well, maybe, maybe t tomorrow morning, because it's already pretty late for you, but definitely look it up, because it's, it's so weird. They're, they are so weird. Like, half the time, the dude's like, like, okay, okay, in his Toy Story review, he says that the game is too hard, which I mean, fair enough, Toy Story 16-bit is kind of difficult. I'll agree with him there. But then he goes on to say that if you if you want to beat the game, cheat. However, since you have to cheat, the game is too short, so therefore you shouldn't buy it. <laughs> and that's that's the weirdest circular logic I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I mean they're really old reviews, for the record. As the name gaming in the Clinton years would probably lead you to believe. So, <laughs> yeah, very, very old video, like, like back in the 90s. Oh, hey, Dr. Mad. N nice to see you. Uh, he, oh, oh, look at all those balls. Okay. Nice to see me, too. Dang, son. How reflective is your screen? Okay, where are we headed? Where, where, where is this? It's like all the way over. Yeah, it's all the way over here. Oh dang, we got a, we got a trip ahead of us, don't we? Oh wait, wait, wait! I can get this. I think I can get this. I just have to figure. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Go in. Yeah, do this. Go over here. Go into the tiny hole. All right, Excelad. I I hope I'm going the right way. So, what part of this game are you at? It's hard to say, but we've beaten uh, two bosses so far. Yeah, this is this is just the kind of game where it's hard to say what you know part you're at because of the old, the whole non-linearity thing. Okay, so the door in this direction. Okay, keep walking. Okay, so I go up. I go the up path. Gotta deal with the funky shroom. I wanted to say something that rhymed, but I couldn't think of any way to say mushroom in a way that rhymed. Some might say it's impossible. God, leave me alone. Most of you missed me. Dude, Metroid Dread is real. I woke up this morning and I had to remind myself it's real. Dude, me too. <laughs> it's like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it exists. <laughs> like I said, it, it, like I said on Twitter, it would be like if Half-Life 3 was announced to come out in four months. That's what it feels like. It, as a Metroid fan, that's what it feels like.
In fact, one of my friends, who may be in the chat right now, found several instances of me saying Metroid Dread would never happen. And yet, here it is. There's the gush, all right. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so this is new. Sorry, I missed the gush, do it again. Oh, it's so real. It, there's so much reality. And I can't believe it. Oh, it's the lore. The lore is here. What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, seeking our life in its blind need for corruption? And where did the media that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands? Or is, that, or is it a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end? Our minds quail in horror at the thought that long ago, in some corner of the universe as yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured, that doomed place, whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have been mighty indeed. And if other meteors from it are spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we can hold fast to the hope that this is not so. That the only surviving remnants of this evil are here on Talon 4, then at least there is hope for its eradication. Okay, what else is going on here? Yeah, I don't have this. Don't have the white. Oh, new new monster. Oh, how convenient. Okay. Whoop. Thanks to, I, I think, Zero Kirby for telling me about this. The flick trick. Oh, this is this place. This place is neat. Yeah, I don't have the white. Oh, more lore. More reading. Can't wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sam, Samus, you... You uncurled in the wrong direction. <laughs> That's so funny. To the entrusted one, if you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. Your path is fraught with danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd. But they are blinded by their evil designs, believing in the black promise of the great poison. They seek to harness it for their own ends. It is these last that are the greatest danger. When you rid the universe of these creatures, you will be the true and trusted one. None know if our temple, the Cradle, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. For now, it wraps around that abomination, cutting it off from the world above. However, we believe the power, or cipher, which has been produced by linking the twelve artifacts, should be strong enough. The fate of the world is now left to the one who will collect all the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is approaching. Many Chozo are gifted with the distant sight, and even more learn to use it as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forward, Seeing prophecy in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of coming days on the breath of the wind. Though we celebrate the distant sight, many of these visions are dark. The worst of the prophecies, and the most common, tells of the coming of the worm. Born from parasites, nurtured in a poisonous womb, the worm grows, devouring from within, until the world begins to rot. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we could not help but fear this dark portion. I need uh, my normal gun back.
Some, something behind the wall seems to have been activated. Ah. Oh, ho. So it has. So it has. Wait, what did I just do to... Wait, I can boost in midair? Yeah, you can. You can boost in midair. What a thought. Okay, so what does that do? Oh, okay, it just opens up that one. Alright, well, I will continue the procedure. I don't think I can go that way. I can go this way. But I want to double check. Does this go back down? No. You just gotta plop out here. We... Oh. Okay, now we go this way. I assume... Okay, nothing here. Only the holder of the twelve shall face the worm. The great poison corrupts all, even the Chozo. This is a big, this is a big moment. Chozo Ghost, Spectral Energy, Bioelectric Field, Invulnerable to Natural Energies. The only way to check, track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural ener energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of Phazon in the Talon 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to Chojo religious sites where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. I scan this, right? Yeah. Okay, this encounter is taking a hot minute. Okay, I got one. Ooh. What's going on here? There was there was lore back here. Things bound to earthly shapes are temporal and frail. Existing in a single dimension, they are fragile, fragile, vulnerable, and ultimately mortal. However, not all things obey this law. Shapeless, they wait beyond the realm of perception, emerging only when one arrives who can feel their presence. Such is the will of the Chozo. Our will to defeat the evil seeping into this planet remains. We desire only to see the darkness meet its end. The will of the Chozo has no mind or reasoning of its own, though. 
This will be a, the entrusted one's trial. Hello, man. How you doing? They appear largely decorative. The Hall of the Elders. All right. Cradle me. Oh, okay. That was a little awkward. But as long as it works out. So there's three Bhutans. Now how do I get up there? Oh, I can probably just do this. Maybe. Ow. Okay. So. We only got purple at the moment. Wait. I got, I got purple. Okay, there we go. Just had to hit the sweet spot. A new path has been opened. That's neat. And probably very over-engineered. But the Chozo were one to go very extra. <laughs> Beyond necessity. That is why some of their statues can come to life, apparently. And then it goes back down. Oh, door. New door. Oh, okay. So, we get a shortcut back here. Uh, I'm stuck. I, I'm stuck on something. I think I had somehow clipped into this. Don't know how that happened. I do Game's freaking out on me. Ah, oh, the stone toad. T Taloric alloy. Alle yes, of course. Of course, the Taloric alloy. I know it well. Can I, like, just bomb it right now? Yes. Okay, bomb this half pipe so I can do six skateboarding. Ow. No. I am here. And this game fills me with fear. Ooh, ice beam. Oh, no, I didn't scan it. I hope I don't need to. Let me see. I mean, this doesn't count as research. None of these have been researched. Oh, 69, nice. 
Eh? Ah, the ice. The ice is nice. But not on rice. So what's over here? Yeah, the door cannot be opened with that weapon. There's a save point, but there's a save point with a hole in it. Now, that hasn't often been the case for save points. So I do believe I wish to investigate this hole. No! Stop! <laughs> okay, what's, what is this way? Okay, there's another door. Ooh. So... This takes me somewhere. Somewhere that I might want to go. But there was another door this way. One that is... Icy? Oh, they both, they both lead me somewhere. Okay, so I guess we'll go in this one first. See where that takes us. Yeah, this is, I think this is basically the hub area. And it lets you get back and forth a lot quicker. Which is good. Because getting back and forth was a little bit annoying. Up until this point. I, I've scanned that, uh, yeah. Yep. Get iced. Oh yeah, I know this area. Yeah, die. Yeah, just die. Go to go to hell before you die. If, if you feel like it, that part's optional. But generally, I'd prefer if you did. Because, I mean, to me, it's not enough that you merely die. I need you to suffer. I, I don't think that's too much to ask. Okay, what? what's all this then? What is... What? Anything thermal? No? Okay. But I can uh, kind of side jump here. We. Oh, but I like. Is it? Is there something here? Not that I can tell so far. At least not that I can do right now. But now, this should mean that I can go to the frigate. Yeah, you can only do... You can only do super missiles... Oh. You can only do super missiles if you have your normal beam. I don't remember if that was the case in the GameCube version. Oh, wait. Wait, no? No! Hmm. Well, okay then. Not this way. I guess we'll try the other way. Pardon me, Johnny B. That's probably not a person. Rhyming is not commentary. Much as I wish it was. Oh, 
I'll, I'll save again. You know, if I had a nickel for every video game I've streamed where the main character turns into a ball every five minutes, I'd have two nickels. Oh, is, is that new? No, that's, that's old. Old and cold. Okay, so here's a tree. Is there a significance to the tree? That remains to be seen. But it is here. Ooh. These mushrooms are ominous. And I do not much care for them. A small gap exists. Yeah, that's another... Oops. That's another instance where I feel like the playtesters had an issue. <laughs> That just, that reads to me as our playtesters got stuck here. Oh. No. No. Please die. Oh, so are we, are we at the frigate? Yeah, we're at the frigate. God, this song is so good. Alright, so yeah, it all, it all works out. It all wraps around on itself. Like a bagel. Luckily, since this is Metroid, I do I don't have to breathe the air. Because my suit does that for me. I'm still waiting for this kind of tech. The breathes for you suit. You know, Back to the Future promised me self-lacing shoes, and I'm still waiting on that. This door has no power. In, in addition, this power has no door. So I think we both have something to gain here. Talon Crab. Fish. Fish. I'm even walking in molasses. Oh, I don't like these things, they freak me out. Uh, I'm at the bottom, I'm at the bottom. A oh, tentacle. Oh, it's the Reaper.
unhindered by the water. Okay, so what am I what am I doing down here? Okay, so we just gotta look around at the speed of molasses. Okay, well, the boost ball helps us out a little bit. Honestly, it's kind of easier to tell what you're doing. Oh, and I have to do that anyway. Because it's another one of those puzzles. I'll be real with you. Walking in the water here just doesn't feel great. Oh no! Why do you do this to me? This is sort of like when the egg carrier crashed into the ocean. You know? Like Sonic. Sonic the Hog Pog. I need to play more Sonic games on this stream. You know, for as big of a Sonic fan as I am, admittedly and ironically, we gotta go slow. God! Put me on the platform, please. I was thinking about doing triple trouble soon, though. Okay, so where, where, where is it? Where, where is it? Okay, thank you. That guy was getting on my last nerve. No, really, I don't have any more. I can't feel anything. Any scannables here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I had to scan it to tell me that that door I couldn't even see has no power. Oh, no, that's the ice beam. That's the ice beam, sir. Are there more? Or is there door? Of course I have to fall 3,000 feet into the ocean, the dark, the dark ocean. At least this music puts you at ease. Can you imagine how, ter like, I've been talking lately about like how, how much a good soundtrack matters. Can you imagine how terrifying this area would be if there was no music? I would, I would probably pee myself. But instead it has lo-fi ocean beats to relax to. God, I can't see. Can't see a darn thing in this hell water.
Where's the door? I've got to get to the door! Is this the door? This is not the door. Makes me think of an aquarium at Disneyland. Yeah, I could see that. And this species of fish attacks its prey in the ocean. <laughs> As many of them do. This is the music they would play in the lines. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the composer of this game would be so thrilled to hear that. Okay, like, I, I understand, you know, I, I feel, I really do feel like I'm in the water right now. I can't see anything. It's just blue, as far as the eye can see. You know, I try to use this, this visor. This is a pretty invasive, <laughs> this is a pretty invasive UI. I don't think I can make it to that platform. I have to, like, fall from somewhere else. No, I need- I need more... height. Okay, maybe here. Okay. Ugh. Scary noise. Spooky. Yeah, I'd imagine that primary door control is inoperable. Oh, hey, it's the save station. Still works. Still works. You know, I was thinking about quitting, but I kind of feel like going for just a touch longer. Okay, I mean, I would try to solve this puzzle. I would try to solve it, but I can't see it. Ah, uh, you see, like, the reflection. So, hang on. Can I go- can I go underneath? Uh, I'm not seeing any underneath. Is there- oh wait. Is it incoming scan data? Oh, the stupid alert. Oh, am I- am I supposed to be- am I supposed to be going to Fendrana? Let me go in here. An energy tank lies within this crash flip. Oh sweet, I needed another one of those. I needed to become more god than I already was. Okay, actually this might be the end of the road. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't think I can... I don't think I can go up there. Progress hindered by liquid environment. Yeah, I mean, I guess there you have it. You know what? How about this? How about this? I'll, I'll get out of here. I don't know if I'll go all the way over to Fendrana tonight, but I'll, I'll get out of this place. You know, hopefully. Now where 
where's where's the exit in this place? I got oh I gotta climb all the way back up. <laughs> Alright. Sounds good. Sounds dope. No, die. Become deceased. At least I got an energy tank out of it. You know what I mean? Nothing ventured, nothing ventured. What my dad always used to say before they hauled him off to the loony house. Boost me the heck out of here. <clears throat> okay, door. Whatever you say. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, yeah, this is right. I don't remember this song. Am I playing a haunted creepypasta version of this game that's adding new music on the fly? Because I won't lie to you, that would be quite stupendous. I, I really hope Samus bleeds hyper-realistic blood at me. Pirates are there because you pirated the game. Well, you know, piracy is no crime. <laughs> no. Deceased. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to. You. Oh, where's this? I'm not gonna lie to you. I honestly think the Mario part or the anti-piracy screen things were probably some of the lamest creepypastas in recent memory. Did not, did not inspire me with good feelings. Granted, I, I can't say the creepypastas I used to read were exactly Prime novella. I mean, let's not act like Squidward's suicide is not the dumbest thing in the universe. And yes, that is the main one. Any of y'all say Red Mist, get the heck out of here. I don't want to hear it. Red Mist, well, you red pissed me off. No, I, I wanna... I wanna see where... Fender... See where... Oh... Oh, it's all the way over here. I don't know. The main thing is, will I remember to go here next time? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Fendrana. Yeah, I guess I just, that's probably enough. Probably enough game. I got a limit, you know. I don't want to walk all the way back to Ice Town after already having been played for two hours. What am I crazy? I mean, the answer is yes, but let's go back to the Wii menu. I like the Wii menu. I like to go back to the Wii menu. <laughs> Does that take me back to- yeah, that takes me back to USB loader. 
But no, I want to go. I want to go to the real menu. Show me the real menu. I said the real menu. Perfection. Right, so what, what happens if I go to the Wii Shop channel? What does it tell me? Oh god, that is loud. Why is that so loud? Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! 